when we got together and then we had Milo, I still held on a little bit of nervousness of feeling like we wouldn't be totally thoroughly accepted. Our son was teased when he was in kindergarten. One of the students actually teased him because he has two mommies. And uh, he came home and uh, crying and asking us, why are you guys weird? That just broke my heart. In California, I mean, it's great that there's full family recognition, but there's a long-term battle is probably going to be a lot subtler, but take a lot longer to get to the point where my daughter wouldn't hear that coming out of a kid's mouth at school. This is the moment when our movement, when our quest for full equality, our quest for full equity, really needs to be about families and families with children. I did not know any other families like my own. And once I learned of our family coalition and the connections I could make through them to families that mirrored my own structure, that really appealed to me. I got involved with our family uh, as a wannabe dad before I even found Jay. And then Jay and I were members of our family as we were trying to make our family. How do we advocate for our children so that they have the best possible and the most inclusive experience that they can have? Our Family Coalition is helping us navigate that road. As one parent said to me when I was at one of our groups, they said, you know, there are places where you can be queer and there are places where you can be family, but this is our place where we can be a queer family. We go to the play group every week. I made some other new friends and Milo has a great time and totally looks forward to going. One of the things I got from the Mamas and Papas group, for example, was just, we talked about kids stuff, but at no point did I have to explain myself, and at no point did I have to worry whether or not the person listening was capable of really truly seeing me or my family. What will I do when they get in school? How will I address when their family structure doesn't look like the children in their class? How will I have those conversations with their teachers, their peers, the parents of their peers? And I found all those resources that I needed within our family coalition. Our family coalition is working with hundreds and hundreds of educators, helping build more understanding and allyship among their own students and help include LGBT content in the work that they're teaching to elementary school kids. How can we be an ally instead of attacking the person and saying, what, you're crazy, you're stereotyping. What would be a good way, a positive way to help that student understand that that's just a stereotype? So our Family Coalition uh, partners with us in training our teachers. They also work with our Family Coordinator to support families in understanding how the families continue that work at the home. Talking will actually transform minds, which will transform behavior, and behavior will actually transform institutions. A big part of our policy work over the last year has been called Breakthrough Conversations, where we're really working with families on how to have these conversations with the people they know to help bring them along on their own journey. They keep bringing all these great resources and the expert that they have, all the programs that they're offering. We were in the FOSS ADOPT training. We did a couple of workshops. Uh, we used it a lot when we were getting ready to be dads. For us to have an opportunity to get information about you know the fall of DOMA and how it can affect our taxes, amazing and invaluable. We've come so far, but when it comes to families, we still have a lot of work to do to be fully integrated into the fabric of American society. And let's face it, families really are the heart of our society. And so this is our next frontier. My daughter got teased at school about having lesbian parents. And it took her by surprise because she couldn't even locate why you would feel upset about it. I felt a sense of relief that my daughter's range of experience included our family coalition, where there was families like ours that she knew that it was the, the boy who was teasing her, it was his ignorance. He just didn't know enough about us. She knew a ton about us and she knew that we weren't alone and she knew that we were filled with love and intentionality. It's like a dream. We couldn't have asked for any better organization to exist. Like, it's just like if we had sat down and made a wish list, like yeah. pretty much yeah. everything they do would be on it. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our family coalition just had my back as a parent all along. 
I have parented differently knowing that they were there.